this is what I will be creating for the rest of this video and it's a um, cool I'm sure the animation it's motion it's actually pretty cool to look at yeah delete this default cube by hitting X and delete then add a mesh add a cylinder by hitting shift A on that left box let the number of vertices be 40 and for the depth give it a, a point 0.3 that says it's quite pretty going to edit mode and in face select select that face extrude a bit upwards and scale down up to that point once you're done with that extrude here I want to get something like Mm, looking like a pot kind of so I will scale and extrude scale and extrude I use so many E and S scale extrude S to scale E to extrude S to scale E to extrude extrude upwards scale down extrude upwards scale down you can see that something like a pot, pot kind of looking. Extrude, scale down. Move down a bit. Then extrude upwards to get um, a stem for that frame. Let it be scaled down. Extrude upwards again. And scale up a little bit. Extrude again, and for this time I will scale down. You can see that shape. Then extrude upwards just a little bit and scale upwards. Then extrude downwards uh, up to that point. Scale upwards to get something like a frustrum. Once you're done with that, extrude a little bit to, get, to give that glass a frame. Now for these vertices, I will hit one for vertex select, select one of that vertex and hit alt and select, which selects all of these loops. Dissolve those vertices to get one face. For this bottom face, I will select it and delete. Hit X and 3 to delete. You can see it's something like a hollow shape. Next, I will add a UV sphere in object mode and for the radius, let it be a 0.13. For the, for the location along the Z axis, let it be upwards up to that point. Position well, let it be there. I think that location is pretty cool. And time for animation, I believe it should rotate along the Z axis. So pull that window upwards. And for the start, let it be at 0. And for the end, let it be 180. Then you, you can select your keyframes. Along the Z, let it start at 0. 0 degrees. Click there to jump a keyframe. And start and at 400 degrees you can switch that one you can see it's kind of rotating towards clockwise direction so for this I will select some of those faces and scale extrude and scale hit spacebar to play then select some of those faces for them and extrude by a point 0.3 extrude by a point 0.1 once you're done with that scale by a, by a scale of 10 and grab it downwards along the z axis to a negative point 
2. For this, I will use the same scale, that is a point three, a point one, uh, a scale of ten, and downwards by a negative point two. So extrude by a point three, extrude again by a point one, scale by ten, up to that point, and grab it downwards by a negative point two. Those two extrude by a point three extrude again by a point one and scale up by 10 a scale of 10 once you're done with that grab it along the z axis downwards by a negative point two and when you play you can see it's rotating but one thing i don't like is that when it's ending and it's starting it's slowing down like it's accelerating and i don't like that so right click and you get these options switch to linear by doing so it will be a uniform constant um, that speed it will not accelerate at all decrease the focal length to from 50 to uh, 26 I guess yeah position a bit so that it it fits well now hitting shift a to add a plane and on the add plane settings let the size be 20 and grab it along the x axis towards the left grab it along the y now for one for some unknown reasons, I tried to snap the camera by hitting Alt, Control, Zero, but it failed me, so I had to manually do the positioning of the camera well. Delious, like I don't like that. I just want the machine to do all the rest of the job. So, <laughs> for the sunlight, I'll give it a point 0.3. And for the material, I'll give, I'll create a new material for that plane and give it that aqueous color I can say I don't know and for the cylinder I'll give it a, a red color drop the contrast value down and you can play around with the specular value by decreasing it what's remaining is that UV sphere which I added which is rotate the rotating part of it so for this I'll create a new material for that, give it a silver material for the color. You can make it more metallic and more shiny. To edit mode and select some of these faces, start by those four faces and create a new material for that. And change from principal to animation shader that one for the color I'll go for the first for the primary colors that is red green and blue give it the strength of three and assign that material now select that those faces to create a new material for this do the same change from principal to emission shader upwards yeah, that one. The color give it a blue. A strength of 3. And when you play, it rotates. So no need to rotate that screen. Select those. Add a new material. Create a new material. Change from principal to emission. And for the color, I'll give it the final primary color that is green. Give it a strength of 3. And assign that material to 8. When you hit play, it rotates. Select those final faces. Create a new material for those. And for the... You can first assign that material. Change from principal to emission. For the color, I'll give it a pink material 
give it a strength of three. So our animation. Oh, so what's what's remaining is to give this lampshade a uh, a transparent view. So select all your those faces by hitting Alt and select. Let the base color be a warm red to match the frame of that lampshade frame. This one I want it to be a glass. So for the blend mode change to alpha blend and for the shadow shadow mode give it an alpha clip. For the alpha value drop it a little bit so that you can see through to make it more transparent. Make it more transparent by decreasing the alpha value down. And there are these top faces which look red. So for them, I'll assign the material that is the class material, material 8. And assign that material. And up to that point, you can see it's kind of looking pretty cool for that. Check on ambient occlusion there and bloom. You can see this kind of shadow that is being casted over here to the left by our sunlight. I really like that shape of the of the shadow. So to animate this one, go to that printer icon, change the frame rate to custom, then change from 24 to 12. And for the file format, change from PNG to FFMPEG video. And coding, let it be MPEG4, which is the standard for the video format. And also that one, MPEG4. Output quality, let it be constant portrait. And with that, you can animate your video, your animation.